Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about the five things that I love about my 2020 C8 Corvette. Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. Today I'm super excited to be bringing you this five things I love video. It's not as popular as the five things I hate video usually, but I don't really understand why that is other than the fact that people like drama. I've been wanting to do this video, but obviously this is another video that I really need to get to know the car super well before I can give you guys all of my reasons because really I've come up with a lot more than five. I mean, I could just keep going on and on. This type of video has a purpose. It's not just to get out and, you know, talk about these things that I love about my car to show you guys how much I love my car. That's really not why this video is done or even why the five things I hate video is done. Both of these videos are done for anyone out there that's looking to buy one of these cars and they want to know the honest truth about how people are truly enjoying or not enjoying the car. And so that's why I'm bringing you this type of video today. I hope you guys will watch it all the way through because there are way more than five things. And with this type of video, I am able to convey true honesty about the things that are great about this car. So before we get started real quick, please help the channel by hitting that thumbs up button so that YouTube recommends this to all the people out there that like car stuff. And also, if you have not joined this wonderful Brink of Speed community, please hit that red subscribe and the bell button for notifications when new videos are uploaded. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the video. The first thing that I absolutely love about this 2020 C8 Corvette is that the engine is now back there that this is a mid-engine Corvette now. This is a mid-engine supercar. And I've always, always wanted to own a mid-engine sports car, supercar, whatever you want to call it. I've always wanted to own one because of the obvious benefits and perks to owning the car. Not only does it help it handle better, but I love the shape that it gives the car. I love that you know, the front end is much lower, the rear end looks a little bit higher, and it just gives it a more muscly stance, in my opinion. Number two, I love that this is almost like a sneaky sleeper type of power out of this car. So when people think 495 horsepower, that doesn't really resonate with a lot of people out there that feel like you got to have all this crazy horsepower to be able to you know have a fast car this car doesn't need any more horsepower than that 495 number because gm has done such an excellent job of getting those rear tires to put down the traction that is needed for a hundred percent satisfactory acceleration And as I've said multiple times, it makes this car feel like it is an all-wheel drive car. That's how great the grip is in this car. Number three, I absolutely love the wrap. Now I know that that's not part of the C8, but it's part of this C8 and I absolutely love it. I'm so happy that I decided to get it. You know, there's going to be people out there that don't like it, but for the most part, everybody likes it and I love it. So that's number three. Number four, I absolutely love the sound out of these quad exhaust tips from the beautiful LT2 6.2 liter V8. Now, it could be louder, but it also could be a lot quieter than it is. And I think it's kind of a happy medium. I feel like 
GM did an excellent job of creating a stock exhaust for their new C8 that has a nice decibel to it. I am planning on going louder, but not much louder because it already sounds fantastic. Again, back to the grip and handling. That's the next thing that I love. You know, I've already covered that, but just as a specific thing that I love, I absolutely love the grip, the handling that this mid-engine platform gives you. Uh, I haven't taken this one on the track, but I'll put a video up and I think it's going to be over here. I always get mixed up which corner it's going to be in, but I'll put a video up of me at the track with another C8. And I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, every time you push it harder, you get more grip, it seems like. It is absolutely fantastic grip. I also love the smooth drive. I didn't say ride, the smooth overall drive of the 2020 C8 Corvette. It gives you a different feeling than any other car that you've ever driven. I guarantee it. Like I've said in past videos, you may own a super smooth Cadillac or a super smooth Lincoln or uh, you know, a Bentley or something like that that is extremely smooth in its ride. But this isn't just talking about the ride. This is talking about every component of driving the car from the tires to the suspension to the steering wheel to your seat that you sit in, the transmission. Everything that has to do with driving this car is smooth and I hugely appreciate GM for doing an excellent job at making this car be the smoothest driving car I've ever driven. By the way, my next love for this car is how easy it is to handle. And you can take that as many different ways as you want, but basically the easiest way to explain it is, do I like a car that makes you have to work at driving it? Like, you know, rack and pinion power assist steering with a manual transmission and maybe even no power steering with a manual transmission. Of course, I love that. Of course, I appreciate that. But I can also appreciate a car that just makes things easy on you. I mean, you don't have to be a race car driver 24 seven in your car. And some cars make you have to be that. But this car makes it so that yes, you can turn the mode to race car mode and it, it you know, it tightens things up for you and makes it feel that way. But most of the time, you don't want to be in race car mode. You want to be in just relax and have a good time driving your beautiful C8 Corvette. And that's exactly what this car does for you. I also love the rear view camera mirror. Now, some of you might know what I'm talking about, others won't. So I'll put up a little video while I'm talking about it so that you guys can see what I'm talking about, but I'll also explain it for you in detail. So GM decided to do something really cool. They decided right back here, as you can see, I'm zooming in on it, to put a camera. And most people would think that's a backup camera, but it's not. That is a rear view camera mirror. And what it does is it stops you from having to look through this small little back window with your rear view mirror and instead gives you a full 1080 view out the back of your car with no obstructions, basically giving you a view kind of like that behind you. But that is one of my loves for this car. It totally changes the game. It completely makes this car so that any blind spots that you used to have while looking out the rear view mirror are completely gone. And I love that. I, I thank GM daily as I drive this car for installing that in the, their new uh, 2020 and 2021 models. Now, real quick, as just a side note, I wanted to let everybody know you have to get a 2LT or above 3LT to get that rear view camera mirror. It does not come with a 1LT package. All right, so we're already to number nine. We've passed up five like it was sitting still. 
Number nine is I love how the storage areas in the rear trunk and also in the front trunk are completely separated from the inside cockpit area because in a C7, C6, C5, all of those, except for convertibles, you slam the brakes on hard and all of the contents behind you are gonna fly forward. Even if you have one of those separation nets, you're still gonna have contents that could get through those nets and possibly hit you. So I love that when I put stuff in my frunk and my trunk, that it is completely separated and I can slam the brakes on as hard as I want and it will never fly into the cockpit while I'm driving. And I can accelerate as fast as I want and these contents are never going to come out of here. So that's number nine. Number 10, and I just have one more after this, is I love the interior of this car, especially the two-tone black and red on the doors, the, the red seats, the black and red center console and the black and red up on the dash. I absolutely love it along with the red stitching and just everywhere there's red stitching along the black. I just love every bit of that. And I also love the stainless on the speakers there and on the doors. I think that's a really classy thing to do also the stainless there on the door where the windows and locks are down here the stainless down here on your seat adjustments and the stainless there on the center console is just a classy classy thing that they've done to the interior of this car so i absolutely love my interior it's my favorite interior i've ever had in any of my cars okay so the 11th and final thing and like i said i could go all day long talking about all the things that i love about this car but we're going to finish it up with the pdr the 11th thing that i love about my car is this beautiful 1080p crystal clear pdr camera that gm finally listened to us about and installed in the c8 corvette and not only is this great for uh, you know, track timing, but it's good for zero to 60 times and, and up and shows you a clear image of exactly what you're doing and what's in front of you. But it also helps you record daily driving use. So you can set it so that every single time you get in your car and you start driving, that it starts recording. And if anything happens in front of you, any kind of accident or you get in an ex accident, that's in front of you, it will record it. Obviously, if you get rear-ended, it's not gonna record that, but if there's an accident in front of you, then you're gonna get that on recording. And you can use it however you'd like, but I just love it. It is the 11th thing that I love about this car, and I wanted to end it on the PDR. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for sticking around for all 11 things that I love about my 2020 C8 Corvette please leave me comments down below letting me know which ones you agree with and remember these are things that i hope will help in your decision making process when buying a c8 corvette so with that being said please give me a big thumbs up and also if you have not joined this wonderful brink of speed community make sure you smash that red subscribe and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you out on the road.